Okay, so I've abandoned my uh, white model now. I'm, I'm assuming that I'm at the point where I've got all my materials in place and I want to start adding some real fine tooth comb kind of detail to this model. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a mirror above this, above this fireplace. And let's take a look at the mirror I'm looking at. So this is the mirror I'm going to add. If I were to bring this in, I'm not going to make this obviously because it's pretty, uh, it's pretty clean and, and a nice straight on shot. But if I were to bring this uh, file in, it's going to bring all this white stuff around the side. So obviously I don't want that because I don't want it to look like I've just pasted a big poster on the wall. So I'm in Photoshop now. And again, this is not something that you have to do because this is not a Photoshop class, but I want to show you how to do it. Um, <clears throat> I'm in my Photoshop file. And, I'm, and I've got a nice, clean, straight-on shot where the background is completely white. So I'm just going to use my magic wand tool to select the entire background. I now have to... I, I may, if, this was, if this was set to the background layer, which it currently is not, uh, I would have to double-click on this to make sure that it's uh, now just rename it as layer 0. Fortunately, it's already layer 0, so I don't have to do that. But uh, if it was the back, if it were the background layer, I would want to make sure to just change it to layer zero, so that when I delete that white, I get the um, the grid field behind that indicates now that that's transparent. So now I can um, deselect, and I'm just going to make sure I'm going to take a look at my image size because I don't want this to be gi gigantic. I'm just going to drop this down to it's already at 1,200 pixels wide. That's okay. It's pretty small. So I'm going to say okay. Now I'm going to file save this as. And I'm going to make this into a new folder. This is going to be, I'm going to make a new folder of all of my components here. So I'm going to call this new folder and this is going to be components. And I'm even calling my 2D stuff components because this is what I want to bring in as as a actual file. And then so I'm calling it mirror. The format I'm saving it is PNG. If I save it as PNG or portable network graphic it will maintain that transparency that I just created. If I make it a JPEG, all of that transparency goes away and it goes to white. So let's make sure that it's a PNG. Save. OK. All right, now I can go to my file. File. Import. Navigate to my folder that I just made of components select that mirror but notice I can't select it because the format has not been changed to PNG so change it to PNG now I can select it import and I'll just click from one point here to there and move it into place now eventually when I'm thinking down the line for rendering purposes I don't want this to be sitting on the wall like this because I'll lose it. But I'm not going to worry about that yet. We'll kind of make that adjustment as we get closer to the rendering, the rendering stage. So for now, it's fine that it's just stuck like that on the wall. Okay, so that's step one. Let's take a look at the next, the next thing we want to make. I'm going to do a file new because I don't want to make my 2D face me components in this same model. So I'm pulling up a new fold, new file, and while we're waiting for that, I'm going to go back into Photoshop, go ahead and shut this down. Don't need to save it. So here's my new, here's my new, uh, here's my new file. Make a little plane to start working on. Go ahead and delete him, and I'm just going to change the style so that while you're looking at it on your end, it's a little easier to see to that, okay. So we're in this different style now. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get a chandelier in here. <clears throat> and I found something online that I like that I'm gonna be using for this. File, open. I'm looking for my furniture and finishes and I'm looking for this chandelier. Okay, so I'm gonna open this guy up, look at it like this. Now, this is a little this is a little tougher because I, I don't want to go through and do select 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 all the way into all of these little all these little holes. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do a select color range and I'm going to select that white. And I can 
control that a little bit with this with the fuzziness here. Okay, and so what it's done is it's selected all of that white area around. And it looks like I need to tighten that up a little bit, so let me go ahead and do that again. Select color range, select the white. All right. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so you'll notice that what that does is it selects all of that white element. I'm now going to do a little cleanup here by taking away some of this selection. Whoops. Adding it. So I'm holding shift down with my lasso tool. And this is Photoshop stuff. So if you don't know Photoshop, you don't have to worry about following along. Okay, so I'm taking away all of this stuff. Because what I want to do is I want to bring this in with most of the interior intact. All right. Let me just go ahead and select this as well. Now, again, it's on layer zero because it's already set to be a PNG, so that's good. So I can delete that stuff now. I, I just have deleted that selection and deselect. Now I'm going to file, save as, go back to my components folder, make sure it's a PNG. I'm calling it chandelier. I've already named most of these, so it's just going to want to copy them. Chandelier PNG, go ahead and save. Okay. Now go into my SketchUp folder, file, I should say. File, import, select that chandelier, import it. I'm just clicking on the face of this uh, slab. And notice it's, it's brought that transparency in really nicely, and I can see through even some of those light bulbs where I want to be able to see through them. Okay. Now I want to explode this right click and make it a component always face the camera and then set the axes in this case this is the anchor point up top so I'm gonna click on that edge pull my red axis so that it meets with the red and then pull my green axis so that it meets with the green and click again and then hit create now wherever I go that chandelier will follow me. Now I'll select those lines and hide them, not delete them, I'm just hiding them. Now I can copy this from this file into my main file. And paste it in place. It's a little small, so I'm going to scale this up like that. And then using its little anchor point, I'm going to navigate up to where I get to that center point, just about in between these two sets of coffered openings. Okay, and because this is a component, let's take a look at it in that scene. I'm just going to adjust my view so I can see a little more of it. And then update. So because this is a component, when I copy it over again to this point, if I ever want to edit it, oops, I don't think I made a copy here. Hold on one second. Select that again, move, and then hit my copy button to that point. Okay, good. And then do the same thing from here. Copy it all the way over to here. Now take a look at it in my scenes. Okay, great. So I've got those, I've got those light fixtures brought in the way I want. So this is an example, perfect example of something that you would want to bring into your model that you don't want to build. You don't want to find a copy of it because, or you don't want to find a 3D model of it because, I mean, good luck. And also. It's going to take up a huge amount of file space unless you bring it into something that's uh, two-dimensional. And now wherever I go in the model, wherever, whatever view I decide to look at this from, it will follow me so that I don't, it, so that it looks three-dimensional, and um, is much more convincing than if I were to bring in a big, heavy block.